Are these the best of times or the worst of times in food retailing, especially in fresh categories? Answer, it depends. It depends on how the recession occurs to you as a leader. Now, my observation is that most in the industry are slanted toward worst of times. And I base that judgment on the fact that what we see is a phenomenon called hunkering down and waiting for normal to return. Now, specifically, think about it, gang. What are the most obvious moves that food retailers are doing? Cut costs? Yes. Cut prices and expand private label, which is another variation in most cases of cut costs. I'm still waiting to see bold innovation, like a retail format innovation. Has my head been in the sand? Have I missed it? Anyone? No. When you see that pattern, you want to understand where's the origin. There's a certain commonality of thinking that leads to people duplicating the same moves. I would like to give you a short role play of what that thinking is like. Now, the basis of the role play is coaching that I've done with CEOs and high-level executives. This is not a single interview. This is a composite, little highlights, excerpts, sound bites of what those in industry interviews sound like. Please listen closely. So, CEO, what are the things you're doing to respond to the recession? We're making several moves. One is we are absolutely cutting back on marketing and advertising. Does it make sense investing in those activities when shoppers are spending less? Training is also getting cut. We can't pull people out of the stores and out of the warehouses and take them off for training. Innovation. Innovation is, I hate to stop doing it, but it just doesn't get done right the first time. We have to keep tweaking it and tweaking it. And we just can't bite the bullet and harm our profits. And the last, probably strategic planning. I mean, how do you plan three to five years into the future? We can't even predict what three to five months from now will look like. You know, as you ran through that list, it occurred to me that most of those items would usually be reserved for can't afford not to do this during normal times. When do you imagine you're going to go back to doing them robustly? When things return to normal. My crystal ball is probably no better than yours, but there's one thing I can tell you with take it to the bank certainty, and that is every minute that you spend hunkering down, as you describe, is another minute that you're not forwarding your competitive advantage. Why? did you decide that you can't win? What are the payoffs you're getting by choosing to avoid losing big time? When I ask that question, there's at least 10 minutes of denial and distortion that comes next. <laughs> but then you occasionally get the ruthlessly honest CEO who answers. The payoff is I don't have to stick my neck out and spearhead a bold innovation. And if it bombs, it harms the company or puts us out of business. And everyone knows I'm the one who called the shot. <laughs>